Before we continue, here is a short introduction to the game. Past for Future has been produced by the National Archaeological Museum of Taranto and Tu Museo and was released on December 20, year 2018. Tu Museo is well known with its works like Father and Son and A Life in Music. They are known with their point-and-click games and their deep story writing. Their character design is usually without faces that became their trademark throughout the years. Now let's talk about the plot established through the gameplay and how the game works. The game tells about a young man named William Blake or Will who lives in London year 2018. He seems to be lost and unhappy with the way of his living by himself. After seeing a portrait of Anna, he became obsessed on romanticizing the past of the woman and began to investigate its mysterious disappearance in Toronto, Italy. As a player you travel to the beautiful coastal town of Taranto to uncover the truth about the woman by talking to her old friends and acquaintances in the past. At some point you will meet her husband, Antonio and their daughter Sophia. Hearing the rumors, you will discover that Anna went to the past to escape her present unhappiness. She could not accept what happened to her son, Matteo dying on a car accident blaming herself. As Will, you have the choice to choose how he talks to someone else. You could be quite insensitive on the words you say but you can also be thoughtful and patient. You can choose to replay the game to choose the other choices of words and learn more about Anna and the accident. Here are some final thoughts of me after playing and reviewing the game myself. This is a game about escaping the present and reliving the past to persuade Anna to come back again to the present. The art style of the game is so unique and the characters are so relatable. In life there are some points that you seem so lost and you are eager to find the purpose of your existence. The storyline was kinda confusing but the experience is still unforgettable. I would definitely recommend to you guys to give this game a chance and the game was like not too long for you to finish the story. The music of the game really suits the mood and gives the game life for you to continue playing. Sadly, there are some minor glitches I noticed like when you are walking to a direction and while clicking to that direction, you can click on the other side and Will would walk backwards. You are also kind of limping when you click on an icon near your character to interact with it. Here are some footage of the glitches. All in all, I am still intrigued if you can change the ending based on how you talk to Anna at the end so let me know in the comments section down below. Before this video ends, here are some gameplay recordings of the game with my phone. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more reviews. Check out the game in the description and see you all next time. Goodbye.